Hi, this is Dr. Alemi with a brief discussion about how to calculate products of two numbers in the same column. If we want to calculate the product of values in different columns, it's easy to do so. We already have a function that does it for us. For example, the product of 2 and 4 in two different columns can be easily calculated. This SQL command puts the product of 2 times 4 in column 3. The star between the two column names it is an internal math function that calculates the product of the two columns. As you can see, it was easy to do so. We do not need to make any special function to calculate the product. When all values are in the same column, this is a lot harder to do. In many query languages, there is no simple internal function that can calculate the product of values in the same column. There is no math function that will be able to multiply 2 and 4 and get us to 8. All we know how to do with data in one column is to use the sum function and to add the values together. In this video, we show you how to use this sum function to calculate a product of values in the same column of data. We use a well-known relationship that sum of the log of values is the log of the product of the values. We transform the data to logs, calculate the sum of the logs. This produces the log of the product. We now transfer back to the initial scale and report the product. Let us start with understanding the logarithm function. Here the x-axis on the hor or the horizontal axis shows the value of x, the values in the column of data. The y-axis shows the logarithm of x. The graph of the logarithm to natural base crosses the horizontal axis at 1. That means at 1, the logarithm of 1 is 0. It passes through the points with coordinates of 2 at, at 0 0.69. Also the point with coordinates 4 and 1.39. And 8 and 2.08 because e to the power of 2.08 is 8, where e is the natural number of 2.718. The graph never crosses the y-axis, but does get close to it as x gets closer to zero. Suppose the value in column 1 are 2 and 4. We want to calculate the product of these values. The first step is to take the log of these values for 2, and it is 0 0.69. Take the log of 4. It is 1.39. Sum these two logs, which gives us the value of 2.08. In the last step, we take the anti log, or in other words, we take e to the power of 2.08, which gives us the x value of 8. So we see that taking the exponential of sum of the log of the values in the column produces the product of the value. I know, that's a, hard to say what it is, but I repeat. We are taking the exponential of the sum of the log of the values in the column. In this case, it multiplied 2 by 4 and gave us the resulting 8. There are two exceptions to this method. First, log of zero is not defined, so we have to calculate situations where there is a zero in the column using a different method. We know when the column contains a zero, the product of all the values in the column will be zero. So we insert that with an if statement into the code. Here we are saying if column one equals zero, then enter for the sum the value 0, otherwise look at sum over the log of the column 1. 
The second exception occurs when the sum of the log of the numbers is so large that e to its power exceeds the largest number allowed in the computer. Here again, we need to insert an if statement that controls for very large numbers. In this case, we are saying if the sum of the log of the column values exceeds 100, then assume it is 100. Otherwise, enter the sum as calculated. In this manner, the sum never exceeds 100, so the largest number we calculate is e to the power of 100. This video has shown how to code the data to calculate the product of the values within one column of data.